Jimmy Fitzgerald. Put your hands together as he comes forward as our host this evening. Come on, I ain't, I ain't played nothing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Fitzgerald. <laughs> How y'all doing? Come on, y'all can do better than that. How you doing? Y'all give yourself a round of applause looking all nice and everybody's just looking nice in here. Woo, y'all couldn't wait to get in here, couldn't you? You look at yourself before you left out. You know how you look at yourself in the mirror and then you want to just make sure and go like if you like, Ooh, wait. Then you turn around and it's like. <laughs> oh, man, y'all look good tonight, man. Y'all really do. I had a good time. Pastor Bird, how you doing, sir? Y'all get a round of applause, Pastor Bird. Still looking the same. His wife's still looking beautiful. That's all right. I ain't know which one was his wife. All of them look alike. I said, which one is his wife? I said, but I met her this morning. Fellowship, we shook hands. All right. Yeah, I'm just making my rounds, just looking at everybody. Sometimes you just got to look at people. Just look at them. You know, y'all looking good, boy. Ooh, y'all looking so good. People coming in late, they looking good too. Come on. Come on. Sit down. Now, you've been, she been walking all around here. She don't ask the pastor, do he have a plug? Do you, she don't say, pastor, do you work here? I said, ain't this something? He's a pastor. She don't ask him, do he work here? I said, all right. Y'all ready to get this uh, 20th anniversary started? Round of applause. 20 years. 20 years. Man. Anybody got any pictures from back then to now? Ooh, wee. Can you believe how skinny you used to be back then? You know what I'm saying? You remember that? And you can't even, ooh. People would be like, why you don't wear ties? My neck is fat. They don't feel right. I don't even put my shirt in my pants. <laughs> I don't. Big fellas, y'all know. Pastor, don't you hate putting your shirt in your pants? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you struggle when you get in that car. <sighs> Praise the Lord. Pastor, you're looking good, though. You're not big. You're just big-boned. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You okay, Miss Moore? You got a hand off like you're ready to go. They ain't have you cooking back there or nothing. Y'all don't work, Miss Moore. Y'all you, y'all got a retirement for her when she... <laughs> oh, man. Y'all give me little giggles. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your stomach hurting in a minute. All right. Cut the phones off. I don't want to hear any... Let me, hold on. I'm going to say this right now, Pastor. I'm going to do this for you. Cut all your phones off. No texting. Stay off Instagram. Quit taking pictures of yourself. Wait till after church. If you want to take a picture, go in the back. The guy got the camera. He's giving it to you for free. Only thing you have to do is uh, it, it down. He'll give you a little card. And you can download your pictures. So uh, if you don't ever go out nowhere, don't be... Fronting on Instagram like y'all go out all the time. Now, take your pictures now. Ma'am, you finished taking your pictures? Okay. All right. Now, I just said that y'all been, not being Christian-like. Quit taking all them pictures. Wait till we get out. All right? Amen? Don't listen to me. I'm just joking with y'all. You can take what you want. Come on. We finna have an opening song. Y'all ready for an opening song? All right. Coming to the pulpit or the, just what I supposed to say, to the stage? Oh, <laughs> Miss, okay. Coming to South Nashville, uh, podium. <laughs> She's been singing. She don't sing every slow song in, in the hymnal books. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to be singing a slow song or a fast song, but y'all give it up. She has a beautiful voice. And don't start the song over. If you mess up, just keep going, okay? Um, all right. Y'all welcome Miss Margaret. Amen. Amen. Thank you. i 
light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you, all of a life spent with you. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that I'm your child. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. King of all days, all so highly exalted, glorious in heaven above. Humbly you came to this earth you created, all for the love's sake became poor. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. I'll never know how much it costs to see my sins upon that cross. I'll never know how much it costs to see my sins upon that cross. I'll never know how much it costs to see my sins upon that cross. I'll never know how much it costs to see to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worth, all together wonderful to me. Amen. Y'all give her another round of applause. All right, all right. All right. We finna have prayer for uh from Miss El um from we finna have prayer, Miss Elder Athea Starks. It is a beautiful sight from here. Let's bow our heads. Most gracious, kind, and heavenly Father, Lord, we just have thanks to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory for what we have experienced from the top of the Sabbath morning, Lord, until this time. You deserve all the praise and the honor and the glory. As we continue to do the vision, Lord, which is your vision, we just pray for your Holy Spirit to be in this place to bless us, Lord, and to help us to know that you are with us and that we are co-laborers with you. Lord, we thank you so much for all that you do for us. And Lord, as we continue to fellowship tonight, Lord, in this miniature rehearsal, 
we can't wait until you come through the clouds of glory so that we could be at the marriage feast and it will be no more rehearsal. We thank you, we love you, and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Or, like to ask for Miss Tammy Anderson to come forward for welcome. Give her a round of applause as she's walking up. Good evening, everyone. You look great this evening. I know you had a wonderful time today. It's going to continue on tonight and just enjoy yourself and enjoy each other this evening. That was it. Okay. All right. Want to move on, Pastor? Keep going? All right. Well, you up. Open remarks and vision. Intro speaker, Mr. Pat, Pastor Hewlett. <laughs> Y'all give it up for Jimmy. He's doing a great job this evening, is he not? Praise the Lord. I know that all of you are hungry and you are ready to get to the food, not only the physical food, but the spiritual food. Amen. So we just want to share with you quickly uh, a little bit of what we shared this morning. Uh, most of you already know that 20 years ago, the South Nashville Church grew out of visionary leadership. And if you've heard this before, you may be able to settle in on this. Uh, the focus was saving souls for the kingdom, and the church grew, and so did its reach. And with its humble beginning, South Nashville established itself as a church that would not quit. The tenacity and the motivation of the people who make up South Nashville make for quite a history. Many of you have come through the doors of this church and you were invited to encounter a loving relationship with Jesus and you were baptized into the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Memories were formed and the template of what God intended began to take shape. But the beginnings were just that, it was the beginnings. The church was established in what we currently sit in today was and is considered to be phase one of a two-phase project. Now, it's important, again, that I share with you those two phases because from the beginning with phase one, it's intended to be a place or center from which evangelism and community activity would take place. But over the years, many inspired leaders have done just that. They've taken this place, this building, and made it a place where ministry for the community takes place. Many have been blessed as a result of workshops, graduations, and even health fairs. VBS serves our community children here in South Nashville, is even registered as an emergency shelter and distribution center if there were a disaster in this local area. But again, these are just the beginnings, and over the 20 years, South has sought vigorously to find more ways to serve our local community. We want to continue that project, and that vision is one that we want to actually continue. Uh, tonight, our ears will be blessed uh, by our guest speaker, our uh, Dr. Carlton P. Bird, um, uh, the speaker for the Breath of Life uh, program, also the senior pastor of the Oakwood University Church. I must tell you something that I just I, I didn't learn this until a little bit ago. When I first came here to South Nashville, I was actually called, uh, I actually was served uh, a summons to come to court. I was served that summons to come to court because I did not know what the alarm code word was for the South Nashville Church. Come on, y'all. Stay with me. I had only been here for about two or three months, but for some reason, the alarm continued to trip over and over and over and over again. I don't know what it was, but what I found out was is that as soon as the alarm trips, they make a phone call and they tell you, what is the code word? If you can tell us the code word, we're okay and we don't have to send the police. Well, the alarm tripped in South Nashville a little over 30 times within the course of two months. So I got a summons to come to court. 
I finally asked the question. I said, I have to find out what this code word was. No one need, seemed to know what the code word was. Finally, someone told me, and I said, where did we get that? The code word, so that I can let you know, is Percy. Now, for those of you who, 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 who know Dr. Bird, you know that Carlton P. Bird. The P stands for, y'all help me. Y'all help me again. So I literally had to repeat it to the judge when I went down to court in Nashville. The judge said, Pastor, I will not put you in jail today, but you need to tell me as many times as you can in the next 10 seconds. This is literally what he asked me to do. What is the password if your alarm goes off? And in 10 seconds, I said, Percy, 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 Percy. So ladies and gentlemen, after <laughs> our special music by Sister Reese, our guest speaker, Dr. Carlton Percy Bird. Selfishly reaching out for what pleased me, even though my God was faithful to me. Every word He's promised is true. What I thought was impossible, I've seen my God do. He's been faithful. His love and mercy I see Though my heart I have questioned And I fail to believe He's been faithful Faithful He's been to me 
Thank you, Sister Margaret. I remember when the choir used to sing, and she used to sing the lead to For Every Mountain. And she's still singing, and praise God, he is still faithful. Good evening, everyone. You look great out there. 20 years older, amen. <laughs> I saw Elder Sherman Cox when I was walking in. I said, Elder, you look prosperous. He said, wherever well, prosperous I am, you are too, amen. <laughs> I want to thank our pastor, Pastor Wayne Hewlett and his wife. Let's give them a round of applause, everybody. Thank you so much, and thank you and the team for having the foresight and the, the execution ability uh, to be able to have this celebration. I regret that I could not be with you this morning. Uh, I was in New York, New York, and it was raining, and it feels 50 degrees. And I finished preaching, and I said, now listen, I says to my driver, you got to get me to that airport because I've got to get to South Nashville Church. And so I praise God that everything went well and I was able to make it and come right on in to be with you tonight. It's good to see everyone. It's good to see all the pastors. Pastor Lewis, good to see you. <laughs> Give him a round of applause, everybody. Pastor Lewis, it's good to see you. Pastor Patterson and Sister Patterson, it's good to see you. Give them a round of applause. And I see Dr. and Sister C, my friends in the back there. Good to see you. Give them a round of applause. I'm told I missed others this morning, and I regret that, but uh, it's, it's good to be here to see everyone. As I went through the tables, uh, Sister Offit was sitting in the back. I said, Maylene Offit. And she said, you remember my name? I said, of course. Of course. But it's good to, good to see everybody. All right, I'm not going to be long. My daughters, you know, they were little when we left. Kristen, when we left, was two years old. She is now 17. Kaylee was three months old. She's now 15, and now we have a little one who doesn't even know what South Nashville was. She is four. That's my baby. Amen. But it's good to be here. Good to be in this building. Good, good memories. Man, Pastor Hewley, you got this place looking good. I'm not going to say y'all worked on the Sabbath. Come on, say amen. <laughs> But it, but it looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good. All right, let me, let me get in the word because as I was saying, my daughters, they are on me now about making sure I am timely. And so I want to be timely. And after tonight, I will get around to everyone. If I did not have the privilege of shaking your hand and saying hello, I'll be sure to get around to do that. I've got to finish and do what I gotta do. I gotta catch a flight in the morning to Chicago. And so uh, I got to get to it. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. I thank you for South Nashville Church. I thank you, Lord, for what it has done for me in my life personally and professionally. And so now, God, as we reflect on your goodness to this, your church, we pray that you would bless this word, that it may be inspirational but also challenging. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Tonight I've chosen a familiar text, Psalm 100. I think you know it. Let's try it. Make a joyful what, everybody? Unto the Lord all ye what? Serve the Lord with what? Come before his presence with? Know ye that the Lord, he is God, and is he that hath made us, and not we are ourselves. We are his what? The sheep of his what? Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with? Be thankful unto him and bless his what? For the Lord is what? Come on, talk to me. The Lord is what, everybody? The Lord is good, his mercy is ever, and his truth endured to all generations. Tonight, I just came to say praise God. Nothing hard, nothing difficult, just praise God. Do me a favor, turn to your neighbor and say praise God. See, some of you don't realize it, but it wasn't always like this. And the fact that we can sit in here like this, somebody ought to say praise God. Praise God for South Nashville Church. The South Nashville Church has been around for 20 years. Praise the Lord. And guess what? We're not going anywhere. This is God's church. For everybody who said we wouldn't make it, look at us now. 
Everyone said that we wouldn't make it. Look at us. Hallelujah. But in 20 years, a lot has changed. All right, so let me test your knowledge. In 1998, we didn't have church here. We had church in Carter Lawrence. Carter Lawrence School. Anybody remember that? We sat on blue chairs. Anybody remember that? Today, we have our own church building on Tusculum Road. Amen. All right, in 1998, you remember, after every service, we used to have to pack up all the sound equipment. Pack it up, put it in the van, and then when it was time to put it down again, we put it down again. Praise God. We've got our own sound system in the church. Amen. And as I look back there, Pastor, it is enlarged. It, it used to be a, a white mobile sound booth. Anybody remember that? And I remember, you know, our, some of our kids used to go to F.H. Jenkins and the other kids used to tease them, y'all's church got a funeral coffin for your sound system. In 1998, we used to have to go to Riverside Church for baptism. Today, we have our own baptismal pool. In 1998, remember when Harold Freeman and Gromico Randolph, is Gromico still here? <laughs> they had to pick up people for church. Oh, there he, Gromico. <laughs> they used to have to pick up people for church in the van. I used to have to get on them, keep the van clean, stop taking the van to places it need not go. But 20 years later, thank you, Jesus, people can drive themselves to church. We've come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord. Praise God for South Nashville. Praise God for all the tent meetings the revelation seminars, the revivals, and all the baptisms. That's what made us who we were. Praise God for the choir that used to sing. Danielle told me the choir still sings. Back in the day, preacher, we used to sing up in this church. Praise God that we're still here. 20 years later, praise God for South Nashville. And so tonight, I echo the words of the psalmist. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. You see, if there's one area in the Christian faith that I believe we underestimate all the time, it's praise. Everybody say praise. Praise means to speak well of a person, a personality. It also means to speak well and to speak loud. That's where we get the word Shabbat from. Everybody say Shabbat. But for the believer, there's so much tied to praise that some of us just don't have it yet. Now, I used to admit before I came to South Church that I would wonder growing up in church why people praise God like they did. I mean, at that time, I was a good old Adventist, and I just felt it didn't take all that. But then the Lord brought me to South Nashville. And I soon discovered that I hadn't been through anything. And I was criticizing because I didn't understand the things that other people were going through. And I came to understand that I had judged them unfairly because when I had gone through some things for myself, when I had been dragged through the mud, you remember one of the biggest trying experiences in my wife and I in our lives was here when we lost our firstborn daughter. And when I had gone through some experiences, I came to understand why people praise God like they did. Because I found out that if God has ever done anything for you, you can't help but praise his name. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? I learned at South Nashville that whenever you've been through some things and God has brought you out, you stop trying to be cute. I don't know if y'all gotten cute now. I got some members in Oakwood here and I gotta be careful, but back in the day, we didn't care how we look, we praise God. You stop worrying about what people say about you. You stop worrying about what people think about you. You just start praising God. As a matter of fact, God's been so faithful by now, you, didn't have to, you don't even have to wait till you come out of a situation, but you've learned how to praise God right in the midst of your situation of what you're going through. Do I have a witness in this place? All right, somebody still doesn't get it. Let me explain it this way. So there's a lady who goes to her pastor and he meets, she meets her pastor in his study one day and she says, Pastor, I'm going through 
problems with my family. The pastor says, hallelujah. She looks and says, well, pastor, two more things. I'm going through problems on my job. The pastor said, glory. Then the lady stood up and said, pastor, there's one more thing. I'm going through health problems. The pastor said, oh, thank you, Jesus. She said, now, pastor, hold up and wait a minute. You're mocking me. You're making fun of me. I came in here to your office to tell you that I was going through problems with my family, through problems on my job, through health problems, and you mean to tell me you're going to make a mockery of my trials? You're going to sit up here and shout and say, hallelujah, praise the Lord and glory when I'm going through all of this. Pastor said, you don't understand. The reason why I'm praising God for you is because you said you were going through. You weren't in it to stay. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And that's what we have to understand. And remember, you need to understand that we're just going through stuff. Somebody's going tonight through sickness, through poverty, through that bad car, through that bad house, through that bad relationship. We are all going through Donald Trump. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. We're not in it to stay. We're just going through to get to. But David says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. He says, your praise ought to be audible. The text says, make a joyful noise. Now, I know noise frustrates some people. I know it does. And my daughters came and said, Daddy, they, they have church in South Nashville. I said, yeah, I know y'all been at Oakwood. Y'all don't understand. It's all right. Some folk just don't like noise. And I understand that, but I hate to say it, but I don't know where you're going to spend eternity. Because if you die and go to hell, there's going to be wailing and gnashing of teeth noise. And if you go to heaven with the rest of us, it's going to be show enough noise. Because when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that's going to be. We're going to sing and shout the victory. But what is noise? Noise is simply information that I'm trying to communicate, but when I try to communicate it, it ends up on the other side of articulation. In other words, noise is nothing more than something God has done for me that when I try to tell you about it, it goes beyond nouns and verbs. It goes beyond adjectives and adverbs. I can't explain to you the goodness of God, so when I open up my mouth and try to tell you what God has done for me, only thing that comes out of my mouth is some noise. Make a joy for what, everybody? Now, the devil does not mind making noise. I mean, look at the devil. I'm driving down in Atlanta one day when I'm pastoring, and I'm on Bankhead Highway. Bankhead's a rough side of town in Atlanta. And I pull up to the stoplight, and there's this young man next to me in this hoopty of a car. And he's in this hoopty of a car, but he seems as though he has a $5,000 sound system in his car. You know one of those cars, the sound system is so loud when you stop at the red light, the traffic light, the ground seems to be reverberating because the noise is so loud. Boom, 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 boom. About to tear his poor car to pieces because it's a hoopty and the sound system is worth more than the car. With all that noise, I said, man, why don't you get a paint job? Why don't you get some tires, <laughs> you know? Get some breaks, but he was so concerned in investing in that boom boom system because he wanted to everyone to know that he had some noise. He wasn't concerned with how his car looked. He was just concerned with everybody hearing his noise. You know what our problem is? We're concerned with how we look. We don't want the, the powder. We don't say makeup in the Adventist church. We don't want the powder to run. We don't want to break a nail. We don't want to mess up the shoes on our feet. We want to be cool. We want to be lit. But what I need you to know is that whatever you have on, God gave it to you. You talking about those shoes. Somebody tried to get some nice after six shoes this evening and your feet are hurting you. Well, if it weren't for God healing those feet, you wouldn't be able to get in those shoes. Talk to me. You're worried about your hair. You ought to be glad God gave you the money to get your hair done or buy some additional hair. Come on, say amen. Just open up your mouth and give God praise. The world is making noise, but the church is quiet. But when something is good to you, you can't keep it to yourself. You got to tell somebody. People talking about if I had 10,000 tongues, God says, why don't you use the one tongue you've got right now? Make a joyful noise 
unto the Lord. God's been good to me. God's been good to me. The core of who I am is still the same person 20 years ago. I remember your name. I love the Lord. I love his work. And most importantly, I love my family and I love God. But God has been good to me. And I praise his name. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? Today, yeah, I'm pastor in Oakwood. Yeah, I'm speaker director of Breath of Life. But I praise God for South Nashville. I praise God for what this church did for me in my life. I praise God for the pastors. Praise God for the elders. Praise God for the, the members, the deacons, the deaconesses, the ushers, the choir. I praise God for the legacy of this church, the history of this church. I praise God that we didn't go under. I praise God that we're still here. I praise God for 20 years. But let me challenge you. We've got to keep moving forward. We can't go back. We got to continue to move forward. So four things in the Revelation seminars, then it continued with yours truly and it continued on after that. This church was built on evangelism. The church must stay evangelistic. Keep telling a dying world that Jesus saves. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Yes, methods change, but the message is still the same. South Nashville must remain evangelistic. Number two, South Nashville must continue with its building program. We can't get satisfied, can't get complacent, higher than the highest human thought can reach is God's ideal for his children. Accept the Lord, build the house. They labor in vain that build it. I listened when I was here to people tell me, well, you don't have a certain caliber of people. You won't be able to build a church. This isn't Riverside, this isn't Hillcrest, you won't be able to do it, but look what God has done. And the same God that blessed us years ago is the same God that wants to bless us today. We must finish the building program. Number three, South Nashville must remain committed to young people. If we're not committed to young people, the church is gonna die. Are you hearing what I'm saying? which means pathfinders, adventurers, Sabbath school, children's ministries, anything with youth must continue. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And then finally, number four, South Nashville must continue to praise God. People may talk about how we worship, how demonstrative we are in our praise, but let them keep talking. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God for South Nashville. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and the harp. Praise him with the timbre and the dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him with the loud cymbals. Praise him with the high sounding cymbals. South Nashville Church, let everything, I said let everything, let everything that hath breath, praise ye the Lord. May God bless you. May God bless this church. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Come on, y'all can do better than that. That should be a standing ovation. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor Bird. You my ambassador, man. I don't care what nobody say. He's an ambassador. I had to look that word up. It's powerful. He's a representative, a promoter, a champion, a supporter. He's my ambassador. Y'all give him a round of applause. Amen. 
Now it's time to eat. Who gonna do prayer for the, oh, okay. You ain't put on the schedule, but. Okay. Miss Johnson, can you please come up, please? Y'all give a round of applause for Miss Johnson. She's doing a wonderful job here, amen? Amen. Amen. We're just about ready for you. We're just going to have one last presentation since uh, Dr. Bird was not able to come this morning. If you just come right back up here for a second, and Sister Bird, if you could come back up here. We have a few things for both of you. And I'll be as, as quick as I can to read, but um, we wanted to present uh, something that has, uh, that we have. The first thing is a proclamation, uh, a proclamation from the city of Nashville, from the office of the mayor, uh, David Briley is the mayor. <laughs> and uh, it reads as such, and I'll, I'll, I'll go as quickly as possible uh, to get it. The proclamation recognizing the 20th anniversary of South Nashville Seventh-day Adventist Church, whereas South Nashville Seventh-day Adventist Church is commemorating its 20th church anniversary on May 19th, 2018, and communities and congregations from near and far are coming together to help celebrate this marvelous Life Begins with Jesus celebration. And whereas in 1997, God gave a dynamic trailblazer, Joseph W. McCoy, serving as the president of the South Central Conference, a vision to establish a permanent place of worship in the city of Antioch, that being the South Nashville Seventh-day Adventist Church. Ultimately, the land was purchased and the first structure was built. Whereas evangelist Tim Lewis, accompanied by the Real Truth evangelism team, began the vision of calling the community and seekers from Antioch to a deep commitment and passion to follow Jesus Christ. As a result of the meeting, over 200 souls were baptized. And on January 24th, 1998, the South Nashville Seventh-day Adventist Church was accepted into the Sisterhood of Churches. Whereas Dr. Carlton P. Bird continued on the vision path by baptizing over 50 souls and purchasing the land and building to house a permanent structure at 244 Tusculum Road in Antioch. Whereas in later years, Pastor Clifton McMillan, Russell, Pastor Russell C., Wayne Hewlett, Roy Patterson, and Vandion Griffin led the South Nashville Seventh-day Adventist Church. It appeared that God gave each a vision to do something that it would improve upon and enrich the vision and the church family. And whereas under the leadership of the Holy Spirit, the church's current leader, Pastor Wayne Hewlett, was installed as pastor in 2016. Since then, many improvements and purchases by the church have occurred and new members added to the church role. Currently, the Seventh-day Adventist Church has members from all over Davidson County and beyond. Whereas South Nashville Seventh-day Adventist Church has undergone many transformations over the past 20 years, however, the original God-given vision remembers, remains touching lives for Christ and sounding the clarion call of Jesus soon return. The vision continues. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, David Briley, mayor of the Metropolitan Government of Nashville and Davidson County, do hereby recognize the Nashville Seventh-day Adventist Church as they celebrate their 20th anniversary of service to the community. Thank you for all that you do for our city, and may your fellowship of committed workers continue to grow and prosper in the years to come. Signed, David Briley, Mayor, Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> and we pray that you uh, enjoy the word of God every night, <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> every night. And uh, Dr. Bird, you'll see uh, what's in there. You'll, you'll take a look. Well, family, we're going to turn it over to our treasure, Sister Johnson, uh, and I'm going to pray for our meal, and then she'll direct our tables as the music is playing. Please enjoy your meal tonight. Amen? And let's, let's just give all of, our, all of our pastors and all of our leadership of the South Nashville Church a hand uh, once again. Let us pray. Father, we thank you once again for this gathering this evening. Now, Lord, we pray a blessing of the food. We ask that you bless the hands that prepare the food for the means of which it has come. And now, Lord, we ask it to do our bodies well. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I will come by your table and direct you to the buffet where you can 
please take your plate with you to grab the food. Thank you. At this time, family, don't forget, it's, uh, if you feel free to mingle, if you see somebody you just want to talk to, go ahead and do that. Plus, our photographer said if you did not get your pictures taken uh, earlier as you were coming in, they are offering those pictures now, which you'll be able to get off of uh, the internet, the website, uh, that he'll give you a card and access to for free. And as a matter of fact, he wants to use this up front, uh, with, and we'll, we'll take those right after that. All right? Thank you. God bless. What's up, everybody? This is comedian Jimmy Fitzgerald. You are listening to the Metropolitan 